Hi, in this video we will see how to deal with multiple components in React. As in the previous video, we created a single component and we render that over the web page. Now we will see how to create and return multiple components and render multiple components over the web page. So let's quickly get started with the practical implementation. So for creating multiple components, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of more classes in the same app.js. So let's see how we can do that. So here you can see inside this app, again, I am extending it from react component as I was doing earlier. But here in the render, it is returning a couple of tags inside the div that is header and content. And if you notice, header and content are not predefined HTML tags, but they are again the components which I am creating right here. So there is a class called header. Again, it is extending React component and it is returning one H1. Since it is a single, you can also keep it direct, but still I kept it inside this div. And here there is a component which is again extending this React component class. All right. So you can see all the components header and content here are returning something and later I'm putting them all inside this app class. Why? Because at the end I can only export a single app component from inside. All right. So it doesn't matter how many I have created. I'm keeping them all. I'm encapsulating them all inside a single class app and then I'm exporting that. All right. So as you know, here, I have already put app tag. So whatever is there inside, it will be rendered in the root tag of this index.html where you can find it here in the index.html. All right. So let's come to the browser. And here you can see header and content. All the things are there. All right. As in the app itself, I have kept this particular thing like content and the content text. All right. So this is all rendered. Now, if you want to put multiple components through app tag, you can also do that means you can render multiple components in the root as well. So what I will do if I will just make a copy paste of this app and it will save, you can see again, it is failed to getting an error failed to compile and it is pointing right there where I made the change. So likewise, I did earlier, I'll do the same things here also like only one parent element will be able to render. So I will put them inside a div and then I can keep multiple components out there in the browser. All right. So if you want, you can just put one HR also. And now you can see there are two different components rendered. So even if you want to create or you want to render, you can just encapsulate the different components inside div and if you want to create multiple you can just create like that and you can encapsulate after that inside this app class so this is how you can render multiple components in the react application tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning